Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, a little bit past 8 o'clock on Saturday evening. Things are very quiet, very dry, very pleasant out there for right now. Looks like we've got ourselves a pretty good mid-weekend in progress and no major problems being seen going into the rest of the weekend. If you've never joined us here before, welcome to Weather Overtime. This is our video online weather blog, giving you an idea as to what's going on with the forecast. A little bit more time than what we spend with an on-air broadcast of a about two and a half to three minutes and giving you the opportunity to ask questions about what's going on in and around the Mid-South where it comes to the forecast and also again with other stuff happening. Coming up in just a little bit we'll take a look into the future and see more about what's going on toward the Beale Street Music Fest a little bit later on this week and as we head towards Cinco de Mayo heading out of April and getting into May. Temperatures again very much on the mild side. I think we've kind of turned that corner away from the winter and frosty temperatures out there. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. If you've never joined us before, again, the forecast in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen, or if you can't stick around for the whole forecast, it's available here in the 7 to 10 day forecast model, all of which is available at wrhg.com slash weather if you'd like to know more. Again, your location, city, state, give us a weather report from where you are, and we'll read those off as we go throughout the course of our netcast here for tonight. And of course, we'll have a little bit more coming up with the forecast and some of your weather pictures out there. And if you've got any pictures, we'd love to see them so we can feature them right here on Weather Overtime. And if you send them in, we'll get those again for later on. So stick around for more on that coming up here in just a little while. All right, that should take care of the general wrap-up, how you doing situation. And here's an idea as to what's going on overnight tonight. Now, without the sun up, temperatures have already started to slide. If you're heading out the door pretty soon, it's still kind of mild out there. We'll show you WeatherNet 3 in just a little bit. It's going to get cool pretty quickly as we get into tomorrow morning. Now, the metro area back in the mid to upper 40s. Some parts of the Mid-South north of I-40 might make their way into the lower 40s by tomorrow morning, so that could look at some pretty cool conditions, but very dry out there. We actually had a cold front pass through the area from earlier today, and if you weren't watching the winds on the weather instruments around the Mid-South or just noticing outside that the winds turned around back to the north and got a little stronger, you wouldn't even notice that this front had come on through the area. So we're going to continue again to see this very dry air spill into the Mid-South. So we're hardly even looking at anything in the way of cloud cover out across the Mid-South as we get into the rest of the evening. So you can forget the umbrella, but I would take along the jacket if you're doing anything out the door for later on tonight. Ronnie Williams, Collierville, 64 degrees, light, 0 to 3 mile per hour winds. That's specific wind information. Thank you very much for that one. And check to everybody else for making its way on through into watching tonight. Slapjack looks like rain. Not in this forecast for tonight. Sorry, but uh, thank you very much for that one. Oh, okay, from the California Mendocino Redwood Coast. Sorry, I didn't see that right there. Two-point typeface and bifocals. A little bit of a problem reading that there. 64 degrees in Gibson County. And a little bit of clear skies there. Thank you very much. And thanks a lot for stopping on by. View from Germantown tonight from the Water Tower north of Germantown High School. Sunset just happened right back around the Towers area and off toward Poplar Pike and Mendenhall right along the railroad tracks. Very pleasant and very mild back in the mid-60s right now. Here's part of the reason it feels so nice out there. 42% humidity. That's bone-dry air for this time of the evening. And as an added bonus... This is going to be the type of air that we are going to be wishing and hoping for as we get into June, July, and August. So enjoy this while you can, because as we get into the summer months, it's not going to feel like that across much of the area. Sunset tonight from downtown Memphis, almost going right behind the pyramid from our Hilton East Memphis camera. Beautiful kind of afterglow of sunset going on there from in and around East Memphis. And moonrise and a beautiful night into and around the area from Shelby Farms Park, a little bit of a concert going on there. Sorry about the autofocus. We're trying to get that fixed. But moonrise and looking again at some quiet conditions out there. A great night for a concert at Shelby Farms Park for tonight out there. Uh, Victoria Mallet. When is it going to stop being cold at night? Cold being kind of a relative term. It depends on how you feel about that. But we'll talk about the 7 to 10 day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Vera Davis. Beautiful day. I want another one. That we can do. Thank you very much. And... I'm assuming that's Dr. Pamela Nunn Yancey Taylor. Welcome to the show, and thank you very much for the kind comments for this evening. Storm Tracker 3S radar, we've ramped up the sensitivity. 
And about the only thing we've seen heading in the area northwards have been more flocks of birds. We saw them in November and December dropping down to the Gulf of Mexico. They're now on their way back to the north again as we head into the late spring and early summer months. We'll be looking for more of those flocks of birds heading back on the evening there. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3, mild, beautiful out there for tonight. No problems at all back in the mid to upper 60s on live real-time WeatherNet 3. If you'd like to get this information on your computer, all you have to do is go to this website address, wreg.com slash weather, and click on the weather bug icon on the main menu section, and you can get this information. Thousands of sites across the U U.S. and around the world as well, so not just here in the Mid-South area. They got them all over the place, so please check those out if you want to. All right, running the numbers into tonight. Again, cooling off rapidly through the lower 50s by News Channel 3 at 10, and overnight into very early tomorrow morning, low Lower 40s across much of the area, so a chilly start, but not seeing anything in the way of frost. Now, there will be more frost potential way up to our north and east as that cold air makes its way on down this direction. The coldest air will be back to the north of us. We're not going to be seeing that just a little bit on the chilly side, but it's still going to be kind of brisk out there. Beautiful Sunday coming up, but because of those northeasterly breezes, temperatures will be a little bit cooler tomorrow, back in the 60s only. And that's just below where we should be into the mid-70s for this time of the year. So this is going to be comparatively a pretty big cool down coming on through. And as we go into very early Monday morning, temperatures again will be chilly for the kids heading out to the bus stop back in the lower 40s as we head out of April and into May. Improving the temperatures a little bit anyway, but we're going to cool things off into the, about the next 24 hours thanks to those northeasterly breezes coming on through. Sunny for tomorrow, mid to upper 60s, upper 70s for Monday. Still on the dry side, staying that way into Tuesday, heading our way back into the lower 80s for highs and low temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s. So decently cool out there, but not doing too bad. Joyce Johnson Berry, Crenshaw, Mississippi, 65.9 degrees and no wind. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report in there from in and around Crenshaw. Appreciate that. And thanks to everybody else for tuning on through. Now, yes, there is going to be some chances of showers and some thunderstorms out across the Mid-South again later on this week. No, it doesn't look to be a major situation for the most part, but we're going to be watching this with a lot of interest. We've got what looks to be a pretty powerful storm system lining up just west of us. And as we get into around late this week, especially on Friday, could be the possibility of some stronger storms back to our west. Matter of fact, the Storm Prediction Center is looking for the possibility of what looks like Thursday into Friday, a fairly powerful, fairly large severe weather outbreak, not for here, but back to the west of us, into the Plain States and into around parts of Texas, all the way up through the Dakotas. Could be some pretty nasty weather shaping up, including, unfortunately, the possibility of tornadoes. Now, what kind of an effect is that going to have on us? We're still several days out from this thing, but when the Storm Prediction Center starts sending up these forecasts that show a decent amount of possible storms that could go severe, this is something to really pay attention to, especially even if we're out of the area just to the east of that. We will be paying very close attention to this throughout the rest of the week. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 as the forecast changes, and it will over the next several days. So stick around for a lot more than that coming up as we head into the rest of the week. Again, Beale Street Music Fest could be some problems with that. Again, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Cinco de Mayo looks good. Back in the mid to upper 70s, plenty of sunshine there. And also looking again at some pretty dry conditions. We did have some showers around the area by next Tuesday. Not seeing anything of that at this point as we go into this forecast, but again, numbers this far out can change and fluctuate. As we get closer, we'll know a little bit more about how things go on, so stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that, especially on places like social media, like my Facebook and my Twitter account. We'll have more details on stuff going on there. All right, coming up as we speak at about uh, 8.14 or so in the red bar clock right there, on the side of the screen in about an hour and 15 minutes. Look to the north and very close to the horizon. It's going to have to be decently bright to be able to see this one. An Iridium satellite will flare. The satellite is kind of a sphere, and as it tumbles, it reflects light off of some of its solar panels, and it flares as the sunlight 
hits the angle of the mirror, the solar panels just correctly, it creates a very short, about 10 to 20 second flare. It just gets very bright for a second and then fades back away again. So in the north sky, find the north star, look down to the left of that, very close to the horizon, right about 931 and you'll be able to see this iridium flare. This will be iridium number 60. There's a whole network of them in orbit, and again, they reflect sunlight very well on occasion, and tonight should be decently bright. It's not going to be super bright, but it should be noticeable. It'll be, again, dropping down toward the horizon. It'll fade into view, and then it'll fade back out again right as it goes right toward the horizon. So you should be able to see that at about 9.31 for later on this evening if you'd like to take a look out there and get interested in a little bit of stargazing and also seeing the moon and Jupiter rising together as we go toward Monday morning. So a good opportunity to get some astronomy and science practice out there. Ammons Lee, thanks very much for a nice stormy view from around Lakeland, Tennessee earlier this week. TN underscore weather from Carroll County, Tennessee. Very nice sunset from earlier this week as well. And from Friday, a very nice view of some of the sunlit foliage in and around Humboldt, Tennessee. Frequent contributor James R. Gulledge, thank you very much for checking in there. Dean Nunley, 54, earlier this week when the rain was pelting it down across the Mid-South, reminding people that it's time to slow down. Don't rush through with the weather out there like this. So again, make certain you allow for a lot of extra time to not be in a rush on roadways like this. So very good advice from Dean Nunley, 54. Fred Flynn, very nice view of sunrise earlier this week from Fayette County, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that one. And one of my best friends from Topeka West High School, Heather Cox, living just outside of Topeka, Kansas in and around the small town of Tecumseh, catching a nice halo around the sun from earlier this week and graciously allowed me to use this as a demonstration of some atmospheric optics going on out there. So thank you very much, Heather, one of the best saxophonists in the business. Thank you very much again for sending that in. If you've got any pictures uh, about weather around the Mid-South or points beyond, we're not picky, send them along to me. Again, Austin Onik, WREG on Facebook, Aonic, no underscore necessary, WREG3 on Instagram, Instagram, Aonic underscore WREG3 if you are on Twitter, and we'd love to see what you've got out there so we can feature them on netcasts like this and on our various newscasts as well. So please send those along. We'd love to have more about that out there and show you everybody some of your photographic work, so please consider that. Uh, St. Louis, 60 degrees. Demetrius Anderson, welcome to the show, and thanks for joining us here on Weather Overtime. Appreciate you dropping on by for this evening. We'll have an update on weather where the troops are coming up here in just about 15 minutes on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages. If you'd like to see more about what the weather looks like around the world at various military bases, we'll take a look at more of that coming up here in just a little while. And of course, we'll take a look at more of the weather pictures out there, some of the webcams, and get you set up for early morning tomorrow on News Channel 3 Daybreak starting at 6 a.m. So we want to stay tuned for that. Again, if you have any questions, concerns, ideas, please email me, austin.onic at wreg.com. If you have any suggestions, about what you would like to see on here, more weather pictures, more cameras, more satellite, more climate, whatever it is, let me know. I can't feature it unless you tell me, and this is the best way to get in contact with me because the old psychic powers are not working too well. So again, if you've got something you want to add, let me know about it, and I'll check in with my bosses and see if we can add that on here. So thank you very much for doing that. We'll have more information on the forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, so stay tuned for that. Kristen Holloway will have more on all the day's news. Mike Sadie has a busy day in sports, including a lot about what's going on with the NFL drafts, so definitely want to stay tuned for more there. And, of course, tons more about what the rest of your weekend forecast is going to look like coming up in just a little bit. Paulette Morrow, 60 degrees and nice in New Bern, Tennessee. Thank you very much uh, for checking in there. More details again tonight at 10, and I'll have your forecast from overnight coming up on daybreak starting tomorrow at 6 a.m. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Again, a lot of weather to catch up on, so stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online. And remember, you can find out more at all times at wreg.com slash weather.